Good morning. Today is, what day is it? It is May 14th, T minus three days till our anniversary, Matt? Yes, Yeah. yep, three days. Our anniversary is on the 17th and we are gonna be married for four years. So today we are in Carousel and I'm gonna be wiping the lens pretty frequently because it's a little humid here. Today's horoscope actually says, Mercury retrograde finally comes to an end today. Disturbances in the natural flow of things could be a good source of opportunity, but could also cause stress and arrest. A calm open sea lies ahead, ready to We're be discovered. On the ocean. We are literally on the ocean. We're gonna go to the beach today. That is so funny. So if you guys don't know about Mercury retrogrades, they last for a month and during those times, it can pose difficult to travel, technology, just isn't running like it should. Just a lot of difficulties in that area. We woke up at 2.30 a.m. and we got to the airport. Zach's phone woke up completely bricked. For 40 minutes or so, yeah. we couldn't get it to do anything. And remember and guys- we were trying to leave for the airport yes, and we were, everything. We were trying to leave for the airport. If your phone ever becomes unresponsive and you have an iPhone, you just click the volume up, volume down, and then you hold the power button for 10 seconds and it completely resets the phone. That ended up working. Yep. So we started off with a bricked phone. We get to the airport and then we get on the runway. All that's going smoothly. Our flight gets delayed by like 10, 20 minutes. Probably, I was asleep. Probably like 30. We landed in North Carolina and then on that flight, there was people on the runway and they had to move. So we ended up sitting there an extra 10 minutes. Yeah. So overall, the delay was crazy, but we made it onto our flight to Carousel where we are now. And on that flight, we ended up circling the island for like 30 minutes or something because the whole island lost power or that's the airport at least. And they were like, we don't know if we can land well, I have to maybe take you guys to Miami. <gasps> oh, and that just would have been tragic because Zach and I would have lost a whole travel day. And the hard part about all of it was if you can't make it to Carousel, it's like there's not a lot of flights to this small island. Yeah. So it's like you're waiting a whole nother day most likely. Yeah, and you know, we've already paid for this vacation in full. We're at a sandals resort. We love sandals. But, you know, you wouldn't get that time back. You wouldn't get that money back. I mean, maybe you would. Maybe they would give you a credit, but it's not really their responsibility. So we are finally here. We are ready to celebrate our anniversary. We got in yesterday. We just took it easy, um, slept in, and now we're going to go to breakfast. So let's do it. Sweet. Outside of our room here, we walk out to this little garden, and the ocean is right there. So we're going to go down to this little hut. Thing, get a drink and then go to the ocean later. We're so excited. It is so beautiful here. I'm sorry if the vlog is a little shaky. I forgot my tripod at home, but I feel like things have been really shaky anyway. Oh my gosh, guys. These are like fiddly fig trees. Look how big they are. That's Look how healthy they are. No, that's a different plant. This is a fiddly fig and they're notorious for being really difficult to grow and they just have a whole, a whole tree of it. Guys, it's a hummingbird. Do you see it? Oh my gosh. So cute. Oh, bye. Okay, so we just got our food. Zach got this omelet and I got these pancakes and then we got some visitors who are way too close for comfort. I'm actually like really scared right now. I feel like way too uncomfortable to eat. I'm scared. I start eating inside. <laughs> I, yeah, I want to eat outside because I am I vlog and I don't want to disturb people. So that's why we're outside. But now I'm like, oh my God, I'm so scared. The birds are getting braver and bolder. They, were sitting, landed they landed here, I swatted a couple times, then he landed there, then he landed back here, and I had to swat him away and he went over there and they're getting bold. I'm not trying to be dramatic, but I am way too anxious and scared to eat because I low-key am like afraid. Okay, so we just cleared the table, we're heading out. Oh no, see, <laughs> not our leftovers. What do you mean? Yeah, you're buckled in. <laughs> okay. You're nice. buckled in. Locked in. Zach got a pina colada. Mm -hmm. And I got a blended mojito. These are really good if you've never had one. And if I wanted rum in mine, so it's like, I wonder if yours is virgin. It's not. Okay. I think like, he was just meant more virgin? rum. Oh, uh, more rum. I don't know. Mmm, could be. There he is, the man of the hour. <laughs> he was like, I'm gonna go swim. He wants me to go, but it looks really cold. It's kind of chilly out. It's not sunny or anything. Oh, yeah. Ooh. There we go. Yummy. We're at the food trucks. And Megan just rode a bike. I just rode a bike for the first time. Um, full disclosure, <laughs> I am drunk. So <laughs> don't follow my footsteps. Everything's free here, so. Everything's free here. Um, I've had, this is my third mojito, um, blended, super they're good. Big. They're big, they're <laughs> strong. But 
I feel like I can't ride a bike or couldn't ride a bike and all my friends would make fun of me in high school. I had a friend who rode BMX and he would always just like not believe I couldn't do it and we tried and I couldn't do it. But he, he just did have the a, right teacher. I know and he did have a BMX bike. It was like kind of maybe different than a regular bike. Not really. Okay, well I couldn't do it. You just didn't have the right teacher. You yeah. needed to know that because you were because you were balancing caught. and I'm like, yeah, if I didn't want to pedal. Fall. It's easier to balance. The faster you're going, the easier it is. I didn't want to fall, so and I knew Zach was gonna catch me. He was there for me. So those two bikes right there. That's us. <laughs> that, those are our hogs. We're parked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're still on the tour, but we're taking a little bit of a break. My hair is just all over the place from the open air bus. There's an oil rig behind us and some beaches. So we just got out to stretch our legs a little bit. We are so up against a, <laughs> a huge <laughs> cliff, so we don't want to get too close to yeah, that. I can show them. Okay, be careful. I bet. So we're about to get back on. We're learning a lot about the history of Carousel, which is really fun. And some of these houses behind us are like 2 million USD. Look how foggy. <laughs> I've been trying desperately to clean this, it's but it's not. It's because the room is cool. <sighs> out here it's humid. I know. Guys, we're going to breakfast. We have a very exciting day in the city. I'm so sorry this is so foggy. It's so humid. And I keep on trying to clean it, but... You basically have to let it acclimate for a couple minutes. Oh, acclimate. <laughs> Got it. We're gonna go to breakfast. Okay, we're acclimated. We've made it to breakfast. What'd you get? I got pancakes, fruit, and a hash brown, plus whatever this is, which is a mystery. What, where? This. Oh, it looks like a cream puff. Yeah, it's got like sugar on the outside. I thought it would be like a beignet. Yeah, that's kind so. of what it looks like. Um, I got some breakfast sausage, hash brown, grape, melon, watermelon, and boiled eggs. I also want to go back for some pancakes, but we have to be at the front desk in 25 minutes. So we're going to scarf this down and make sure we are ready for our big day. We are going into the city. Ooh, are you excited? Yeah, it's a colorful bus. It's fun. Open windows. Yeah, here, music. Here curl. Like, I love your hair curly. <laughs> <laughs> my, my gentle giant. <laughs> Too big for the school bus. <laughs> but little man spreading never killed anybody. This is exciting. I'm excited. It'll be fun. It's got music. I just can't get over it. Like, look at this is where my leg would normally need to be, and you're missing like a piece of my leg. I know. Oh, poor Bean. It's not bad though. You know how people get that surgery to make themselves taller? You need it to make you shorter. No. <laughs> I would still do it to get me even taller. I want to be oh. a 6'7. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Over here is going to be amazing. How are you loving the tour so far? It's awesome. We're learning so much about the history of the <clears throat> island. It's, I think I said this like a little bit in the last clip, but I just had my iPhone, but we are having the best time. I have yeah, a big a smile cool on my history face. History lesson, we're gonna yeah. eat, go to a beach. We've learned that. that the island is basically just limestone, so there's no agriculture here. So I they- I called it when we got here, yeah, it was like a desert. Yeah, they <laughs> have to import 99.9% .9 of their things, and all they have is limestone, and they don't even export it, they just use it. Wow. That's so cool! <laughs> Armin, Mikasa. <laughs> Literally, I'm having Attack on Titan withdrawals. Na, 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 na. So, this is one of the uses of the liqueur, I guess. AC in a bottle. Yeah, not for drinking, for uh, putting it on your skin to see what it feels like. Zach got a little bit of a thorn prick and it- I did. It immediately like flared up. How does it feel? Can you put it on my arm? Feels cooling. Oh yeah, a little AC in a bottle. Now it's time to drink. This is the one that it's got all the four colors, but they all taste the same. Hmm. Tastes like orange Fanta. Very orange. I'm gonna try the chocolate one. That's very chocolatey. Ooh, it's like a Tootsie Roll. Yeah, wow. That's good. Oh my goodness. My favorite was the tamarind one. Oh really? You should try it. Okay. It's good. All right, we'll try the tamarind one. Now after the chocolate, though, it might be changed, you know? <laughs> Cause it's subtle. It's like a vanilla-ish It's just too much alcohol. Okay, so 
we made it to the restaurant. Zach is checking his um, email, or he's just he's just checking up Wi-Fi on work. Wi-Fi is actually working. Oh like... yeah, mine doesn't say LTE or anything, so he's been without Wi-Fi all day. He's not supposed to be working anyway, but he does get a little bit, you know. I just want to know what's going on. Start crazy. He likes to know what's going on. We are finally at the restaurant. We're taking our little lunch. We just both got burgers, and then they gave me a Coca-Cola, which is exciting. But look at this beach view. Wow. So we'll be here for the next couple hours, just enjoying the view, taking a little bit of a break, a little bit of a relax. Um, there are like some beach shops, but they look closed. But yeah, we're just hanging out now. Our hair looks crazy, but we're just not gonna talk about it. The bus, windy. like I think it got a lot more windy than before, right? It's naturally windy and the bus is moving. So oh we finally got to like this little shopping center in the city, which I wanted to do more here, but only we're only gonna, minutes. we only get 30 minutes. So we have to like skedaddle. You know? We spent two hours at the beach and we spent 30 minutes here. Yeah, literally, <laughs> literally two hours looking at water, 30 minutes at the shops. This is so cute. Why do we only get 30 minutes here? I could spend like an hour here. So we're gonna hang out here. They have all these little cupcakes and everything. It's all free. It's all free. What is it? Oh, that falls at the bottom. <laughs> that's why you must have up. Oh wow, that's really good. I told you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. <laughs> Six years together. Too. I know. We started dating in July, so it's like there'll be six years. July then. 2017. Yeah, so, but really, four years of marriage, which we are so excited about. But what I'm not excited about is we are <laughs> we are about to do an underwater trek. Do you want to explain what it is? Yeah, so how it works is there's this big helmet that they put on you, it rests on your shoulders. Mm -hmm. It weighs like 30 pounds, let's say. You start on the beach and you just start walking. The helmet has an airline at the top and a boat that follows you, but the helmet's heavy enough to keep you on the ground. So even when you're 10 feet underwater, 20, 20 feet underwater. We're gonna be 20 feet underwater walking. You, can, you walk. So it's I'm a sea walk, but basically it feels like you're in an astronaut suit. You can jump and it's like low gravity and it, it's a really fun experience. You're walking around all these fish and these coral reefs and like, it, it's really, really fun. Tonight is our anniversary. We have a little dinner planned. And yesterday we didn't vlog. We just hung out and we went to this really cool show. Um, and then we just hung out by the pool all day. And today we're back at it. I'm not gonna take my camera obviously because we're gonna be underwater and I can't take this underwater. So <laughs> we'll update you when we're done. Bye. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I did the sea trick. How was it? It was awesome. Well, let me fix this. So we're a little bit overexposed. Oh, now I'm overexposed. No, no. It right. was so fun, but I was so nervous. I literally started crying on the bench and we were sitting waiting to go. I almost threw up. I was so nervous, but then Zach told me like, he reassured me like, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. You don't and have to go. I know. And then I started to feel better. I was like, he's right. Like once we get there, cause I want like Zach always loved this. So I just wanted to make sure like he could at least do it if I chickened out. So I felt better when he told me that like whenever we got there, if I didn't want to do it, I didn't have to. They also said this one didn't allow jumping because somebody jumped once and then fell forward. And this excursion basically is a helmet full of air. So if you fall forward, all the water comes up in and then your head's really heavy and you're drowning. They told me that after. <laughs> after. They told me that after the fun. When they said no jumping, I was like, oh, because that's like half the fun and you feel weightless. Yeah. I, we snuck a couple tiny baby jumps Wait, in. Wait, little skips, little skips. Yeah. We got a video. We got to feed the fish. We held a sea urchin. We got tons of photos. A little fish bit my finger, but it was okay. He didn't mean to. He meant no harm. And then 
family came back to our room to a surprise. They gave us a little cake, a little congratulations. And then this, I've seen this before. Do you recognize this? Mm -hmm. They put this in our room on our engagement trip. Yeah. And you were like, I told them it was graduation. I don't know why they put, Yeah. why they put that. Spoiling, Because I, I didn't know, I didn't know. So happy, happy anniversary. anniversary. I think it even said happy anniversary, the card. Probably. And we yeah. were like, Huh? I mean, but <laughs> he knew. This. I didn't know. Congratulations. Yes. Amazing. Yummy. It smells kind of rum forward. Mmm, let's dig in. Hello. It's the same day, and now Zach and I are ready for our anniversary dinner. I'm so excited. Let me show you guys. Show, show you guys. Show you guys how the dress turned out because you guys saw in the last video what the dress was. You know, you guys saw the pattern, but I want you guys to see the full thing. Hopefully, the camera doesn't fog up. Hopefully, you guys can see it. I think it's still going to be a little too short. But it is super cute. Sorry that I can't elevate you guys a little bit. Zach is on the phone. So hopefully I can get a better shot a little bit later. And Zach looks so cute too. He looks amazing. But we have a little dinner on the beach planned. Um, it's a private dinner and there's gonna be some chocolate dipped strawberries. And I am just so excited because we look so different than we did uh, whenever we got engaged. Look, it's crazy because we got engaged out of sandals. And now here we are having our anniversary dinner out of sandals. <laughs> look at us. Uh, and I have the blonde hair and everything like even whenever we got married blonde hair uh, So we have both changed a lot <gasps> Look at him He's beauty. He's grace. I'm beauty and grace. You are so handsome. Uh -uh. So look at us. I don't know. We just look so different than we used to back whenever we got engaged and I was just thinking about that and kind of what we looked like at that point in time Oh my so. gosh. Oh, is that the camera? Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Huh. How white is this? No, you're fine. That's just Wait. the lighting. You're fine. Look, look, at, look at that though. That's fine. Oh my. It's just look, the Doesn't that look like extremely white? Yeah, to, like, it's just the lighting. You look very <laughs> like, monotone. Is my head like totally sunburned? No. Sunburn. So here's the dress. Love it. I don't have like a bag or anything. I also, I'm not wearing my full makeup. We're wearing island makeup. You know what I mean? Very light. I washed my hair and now I'm feeling ready to go. And also I just put on these flats because we're on a beach, right? Oh yeah. Here's my fit. Got Tommy Bahama shirt, chubby shorts, <laughs> Gucci uh, boat shoes. Yeah. And I have Let's see a severe tan difference. You don't. It doesn't look like that. You look great. <laughs> we made it. We have a little spot on the beach. It's so cute. You want to cheers, babe? Yeah. Four years? Let me we, cheers to we four years. We just did, but it wasn't on camera. So. <laughs> so we have our own little private dinner here. Zach you and I. You drink after your cheers. That's bad luck. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I'm sorry. Is the sun making my hair glow red? You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. So we got our little menus here, mm -hmm. and we have a very beautiful view of the beach. It's the ocean. Yes, and then if we look that way, we can see the resort. It's the resort. <laughs> and then watch me, I might be overexposed. Yeah. Ooh, we got bread. Bread. And then, oh, your menu. Oh, oh, your oh menu. gosh, oh gosh, gosh. <laughs> Definitely don't want a litter, oh gosh. I got the Moroccan grape and grilled chicken. And then we had the not so traditional Caesar salad, which I do remember picking. The vegan filet mignon, not a vegan, but it sounded yummy. And then peach cream. So I don't know what the top thing is. Maybe it's an option if you want to like swap out your entree, which I would, because that sounds better than the entree. No, the picked. top thing is an appetizer, so you must not have picked one and they just gave you one. Oh, I did pick this. Okay, nice. I got the fried jumbo scallops, a house salad, surf and turf, which is steak with lobster, and a mango and white chocolate cheesecake. Which we're gonna share. Oh, because you got a different dessert, right? Yeah. Dang. We agreed to that. We agreed that we were we gonna. Should have both got the mango cheesecake. No, we're gonna looks share. Like you're not gonna get any peaches and cream. I got my <laughs> appetizer. It looks really yummy. Zach got his. I feel like every time seafood portions are given, it's very small, but it's yeah. not because it's so luxurious. It's so luxurious. <laughs> yummy. Ooh. So good looking. We're gonna find out if it's good. It's good. Yours be looks good. questionable. It's gonna be completely <laughs> open. Yeah, let me see if mine's good. I'm on the camera, it looks craft. great. Okay, so you just have a regular filet. Filet. Mine does look like a patty. She also didn't give me a steak knife. Um, and well, because she... it's just a vegan filet. I mean, it's probably really easy to cut. You also didn't have to specify how you wanted it done. Because it's just. It's vegetables. That's true. See, the reason I didn't get with that guy is because I don't like seafood. You probably said without the lobster. Yeah. Is it dry? Yeah. What's it taste like? I'm having, it's great. 
so good. I put it on like three times. Yeah, Zach has failed me and now we are at the sushi restaurant and Zach has a little bit so soon. Ooh. He got some shrimp tempura and I got some edamame. I Ooh. love edamame. We have a 500 degree hot lava stone. Um, I just forgot what this is called. I think it's like Ishiyata. Ishiyata? Something like that. <laughs> it's important but I just can't remember. I've never had anything like this but it's like a 500 degree Oh, there's your dessert. Babe. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ooh, fancy. And so I basically take this and I put it on the on the. And then stone. the veggies too. Yeah. So I cook it all at once. You're multi-talented. I used to work at McDonald's. You did. Zach used to work at McDonald's. He was a grown-up. Thank you. Ooh, don't want to overcook it though. I don't. I don't think it's done. It's beef. like raw in the middle. Yeah, it's, it's beef. I don't want to overcook it. Okay, yeah. Mm. Okay, let's try it. Mm. Very salty. But you're right, it needs to cook up. <laughs> it was like raw. We got a little vegetable roll. So it has cucumber, carrot, and also avocado. That got a rainbow roll and a tuna roll. Rainbow roll and a tuna roll with shrimp tempura. Inside, oh, it's so, so good. Fancy. How's your food so far? Really good. The, the miso rum is a little spicy, but it's yeah. like really good. Nice. The shrimp tempura was great. Yeah. The sushi I just haven't bite was awesome. Awesome. This place is probably the best one here. Should have been here more. Yeah. Yeah, we leave tomorrow, so. <laughs> no, we leave Saturday. Oh, yeah, tomorrow's our last day. I keep yeah. trying to say. Heading back to our room <laughs> for the night, we got a plate. This is for both of us. We got a plate, some ice cream. Wait, we need to get a fork. What do we need the fork for? Well, some of this looks like it needs a fork, right? Um, I guess not. No, we'll figure it out. We're gonna go back to our room. We're gonna watch a movie. Just mm -hmm. get comfy. Zach has a little sunburned. I'm, mm -hmm. we saw my legs. Look sunburned. Look at them. Oh Look at them. my gosh. They're burned so bad. Yeah, so burned. So hope you guys don't mind switching from the iPhone clips to the camera clips. We're just going all the way. I mean, iPhones have come so far and I started vlogging on an iPhone. That's my original sitch, right? Mine is melting so fast. Okay, we gotta go. <laughs> we gotta go. We're finishing off the vlog. Thank you guys so much for spending our anniversary uh. trip with us. <laughs> um, we just are heading home in the morning. We've spent the entire day hanging out, recharging, really relaxing. Oh, yeah. And now we're gonna go to dinner and then we get up at what time? 4 a.m. To, to check out at 4.30, to head to the airport at 5 a.m. Oh, because you have to be to the airport three hours before <laughs> your flight. And our flight takes off at 8.10. Yeah. So we're getting there at 5, and that's forced upon us by the hotel. Like, it's not us being over cautious. They were cautious. like, check out. It's like, it's at 4 30, at 5 like, a.m. Get out. So, so we're going to be waking up early to head back home. The airport, though, looked like Peach there was stuff Luna. to do. It wasn't like kind of just like an empty airport. I don't think it looked like there was stuff like, to do. There was still like a shop and stuff. Well, we're going to be heading home to our little puppies and our little kitties, and then we are going to be resuming our regularly scheduled programming. Fortnite. We're gonna Fortnite be playing Fortnite rank came out. We need to play at least six yeah. hours this weekend. There, we only got one weekend day left. Yeah. So. But play like six hours, and there's just so many battle pass stuff to grind. There's, huge, we're really busy when we get back. Huge priorities. So we have a ton of fun things coming up, and I hope to see you guys soon. Don't forget to hashtag stay PG, stay kind, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye. Bye.